Well, Richard, good to talk to you. First of all, what are your reflections on the weekend at Manchester City? Wow, that was a question to come in with straight away, <laughs> wasn't it? This time on a Monday morning. Um, immediately after the game, very pleased with uh, a lot of aspects of the, the performance. Uh, our defensive organisation uh, was probably our best of the season. The way we, uh, the relationships with, between players, the way they uh, defended areas of the pitch, because Manchester City are, I think, we they shadow of a doubt they're the best side we've played yet. Uh, the way the ball speed, some quality players. But I thought defensively we had a, a really good shape and we created some opportunities going the other way, which was the game plan. Uh, there's like every game of football you look at, you go, there's a lot of things we need to work on. Um, a lot of lessons probably look at, you know, what do we need to do to be right up there with the top teams? Uh, and I think Manchester City with their. Um, uh, never mind their technical ability, just their work rate and the, the way they compete for everything. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's probably the, the, the most difficult thing in the Premiership. I, th I think you can't really have 30 seconds where you're not quite on it, and because if you do, then you can see. So, um, yeah, a lot of lessons, a lot of good stuff. Um, the team's developing. Um, hopefully, well, we're not going to play Manchester City every week, are we? So, uh, yeah, we want to take the lessons from it. Yeah, you lived with them for long periods, as you did in the games at Spurs and at Arsenal. So you're competing with the top teams. Does that give you some encouragement well, going into the We're there a shadow of a doubt. I mean, you, you watch teams uh, and you go, well, can we cope with that? Uh, and the fact that we did for long periods. I mean, you, you want to, what you want to do is go to Man City and do what they did to us eventually. Uh, but that's that's going to take time. You're not going to happen in a day, in a, in a week. You know, you, that's that's going to be built up over a period of time. It's going to be built up with the culture at the club, with the, with the young players that are coming through. That uh, you know, this is how we want to play. Um, I mean, the Manchester City players. They, I mean, people talk about how technical they are, but they make really good decisions. They know when to play short, when to play long, when to press, when not to press. Uh, and uh, all the time, every day in the training pitch, we're working on those sort of things. You know, with individuals and also with the with the the, the parts of the team, the midfield, the, the back four, the left side, the right side, uh, it goes on all the time, you know, education. So uh, yeah, we're working towards that end. You're creating chances and playing positive football in every game, aren't you? I, I think that's the thing that you take the result away from it uh, and you go, do I want to be associated with a team like that? Uh, and I go, yes, because, because of our brightness, we are trying to do things uh, in an entertaining way. Um, and, uh, and and make it a spectacle, people that want to come and see it, uh, and, and hopefully we are. I'm sure if we weren't, we'd, uh, people would tell us, but uh, now that's what you want to do. Uh, this, this is the way that uh, we, we want the team to play uh, and create things. So yes, yeah, we're quite pleased with that. How's Jack Grealish? Uh, haven't seen him this morning, got back on the coach, a little bit sore, uh, you'll know more. It's one of those things, it, it, it's like anybody really, you're at home, you're walking around the, the kitchen, you bang your knee on the cupboard door or something like that and you go, oh, that, that hurts a lot. And then within a day or two days, it feels okay. So everybody knows how people recover from knocks. So uh, he, he's a robust character, Jack. He's, uh, I think his whole personality and demeanor says he'll recover quicker than most people because that's the way he is. You know, he has, uh, he has these positive things running through his body. So yeah, I, I think he'll be okay. Yeah, desperate to play in every game, which is a good sign, isn't it? And there's Hotter, who, who's out at the moment, of course, yeah. and uh, Codger and, and Chester, are they, are they sort of getting yeah. close? Hotter's uh, probably a couple of weeks away from it, but going really well on the training pitch. Uh, him and Rob, Rob Marshall, had uh, hernias at the same time, and they're, they're uh, com um, comforting each other, working each other out in the training pitch, and you know, hopefully he'll be back in the, on the training pitch with us in a couple of weeks. Uh, James Chester has been stepped his training up, looking very good. Uh, I mean, the other things with James Chester is he sounds very good as well. His personality and uh, character within the group is fantastic to have. It's great to have him back out there. He's, he's a really positive character, drives people. Uh, it'll be a great, uh, great comeback for the squad. And Codge, uh, Codge has had a what you would call, I suppose, a nightmare start to the season, the Premiership. But he's uh, the last week or so, he got 80 odd minutes in the. Uh, with the 23s of the week and, uh, and then he's been training consistently ever since, so he's, he's almost there.